Alright guys, welcome back to New Londo, it's day 29, my name's Jace, I am here with the wonderful, like, thunder god, Raiden. <laughs> Hello. And he is, I imagine, it's somewhere beyond the walls with a fancy dinosaur doing stuff. If you come out the front, I am standing at the top, at the crest of the hill, outside the eastern gate. On the breast of the hill. Crest of the hill, yes, the boob, the teat. <laughs> the teeth, some might say. Ah, there you are. There's Mama Longneck. There's a oh, raptor. she sees me. Yeah. She saw us and looked over. She sees you guys at home. Don't have nightmares. Oh God. Oh God. Run away. So, I um, I mean, I guess I can show you quickly what we've done while I'm up here. Uh, we, this is it's really... The main black raptor outside. Is it... A, a what? A big black raptor, he's charging the wall. He's at the wall, he's aggroed. Alright, give me a second, I'll get a bird. Get a look at him, do you, do you still don't carry a spyglass, do you? I think I do have one, actually. I do! Tweet, give me a level. 20, I think. Oh shit, I'm having this. Right, depends how black this raptor is. Uh, it's sort of black and green. He's now, yeah, he's still coming back. He's pretty, he's pretty cool looking. Where is he? he? Oh, I see him. Scoop. Lady. I'm gonna put her in the box. Yeah, she's pretty cool. Yeah. Do you want this one? This would be better than Rory. It'd be better than Rory, but. Not as good as Wendigo. That's true, but like Varus is the best raptor, I think, by a distance. Mm. This would be the second best one. Or yeah. I don't know how high I think Varus is like twenty seven at least. Oop. Well no, I'm well yeah. Oops. Cut down with bird. Yeah, Raptor's in the box. See, the thing is about the wolf is you get very little meat by comparison. If you wanted to get meat and not take a carno, the raptor is your option, really. That's something to think about. Okay, so yeah, we obviously we did this sweet aviary. If you haven't seen this, you can check it out in the previous episode. Two episodes ago, I think. Did the bulk of the work, had to rip out this wall the other night and fix it because we got some weird shit going on with these foundations. Like, if you look here, you can see what I mean. This shit right here. Basically it's because of uh, putting a wall on what is considered the quote unquote wrong side uh, of this seam effectively. You're placing it on the outside of this thatch one or you're placing it on the outside of this stone one. Um, and if you do that, like, gradually it gets offset when you then build from those offset points. I think that's what happened here. Um, and it happened inside, so I ripped out all the ones inside and we're up to here. So we just need to replace all these roof ones, but these are just scaffolding anyway, so it's not a big deal. Um, they they were going to be replaced. Uh, I made stone ceilings all the way around here just to make this nicer. And ripped out some stuff inside. So we need to do some redesigning inside. We've made a lot of uh, new uh, hardware effectively to put in the house once we decide on the redesign. We have to extend the front, but neither of us know how to make fertilizers, uh, fertilizer bins. Uh, so we currently can't, we currently can't move this out. We need, we need two fertilizer bins. I think. I think we really do. I don't think we can live without two. Uh, oh, did you do? You, do you have stone hatch frame? Um, I'll check now. I, I dumped like we got to two thousand thatch into the box there. Wait, 
That's it. Oh. I, I've heard that is 200 for a second. That's way more impressive than I responded. <laughs> Thank uh, you. But to do is for tonight if we're doing loads of stuff, and like that wasn't too long. Yes, I do not know I'm a uh, stone hatch room, but I have a little bit now. Eat. Alright. Putting Katamari out. Just in. I parked the bird badly. I was gonna blame her. I parked the bird badly. Come on. Nobody could blame you, you big dopey thing. Go for go for a roll. Yeah. Alright. I know you're not gonna have any trouble with predators. Just smack them in the face. She's on neutral, enable wandering. Yeah, you should be good. Ready to go, girl? Yeah, there she is. Alright, Katamari's on the obelisk. Cool. I'll fly my bird back cool. up and then go for a swim. Okay. Okay. What what do you want to do tonight then? Because we have well, we have as long as you can play for. So I, I'm in for the duration tonight. As he disappeared. I think um, <clears throat> uh, we want to convert the base. I want to make the base better, basically. Okay. So lots of stone stuff. Um, I mean, if we see a Quetzal, we should get it. Um, and I think this Scorpion one is not a bad way. Uh, did you see that I just put a little door in here, so it's almost a thing? Where? The generator room. Oh, no. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's neat. I like it. I like the offset box a lot. Thank you. I was going to do something similar for the garden area, maybe. We need something. Yeah, we should do... Th I think more of that sort of thing is a good idea, actually. Like, in intentionally off-the-grid stuff in inside the buildings. It just, I don't know. It just feel homier. If everything is perfectly rigid and gritty outside, it makes all our infrastructure lovely. So we might as well just have a bit more... I don't know. Yeah. What does it take to make uh, the stone pipes again? Is it basically just stone? A load of stone. But it takes more stone than the metal pipes do metal. Um... Hmm. Um, I'm gonna grab a drink here. I'll be... Okay. Ten seconds. What I'm thinking is, are you back? Mm -hmm. What I'm thinking is, Katamari is just picking up shitloads of stone there, and she's doing it super fast, so you could just make a bunch of cross sections until you can't carry them. Yeah, that's a great idea. I'll um, fly over. We're done. And then we can stick those in, and you can go into construction. There's just shitloads of resources to start playing with. I'll go down now. So I've got my. I'm gonna try. I want a couple arrows actually. <laughs> oh, Katamari's so fucking cute. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. He's amazing. Uh, Christ, just waddling around. 
Yeah, and once you once you have the pipes, you can just like grab. You know that we've got thatch. You can just grab thatch and wood because we have shitloads of wood and fly out to her and just make yeah. shit. Amazing. She's. Oh god, they are expensive. Like, pearl sections are relatively expensive. Like how much? I got six for a hundred stone. Fuck. Yeah, they cost fifteen each. Uh, so it's not. Yeah. It's not all, but it's um they are, you know, reasonably expensive. You go through your stone faster than you expected. Yeah, I would I would say like twenty would be a good stock to have. Because yeah. we can put put like ten along the front and then have another ten for next time. I'll clean her out of stone. I'll clean her out. Alright. Oh, Dive in time. Alright. People in the stream have not met. Uh, you can just wait to see your silhouette there. This is Chaos Witch Quelag. Ugh. I just have a flat. Yeah. Actually, she's, Chaos Witch Quelag. I haven't played it yet, sadly, but have you seen Rom from Bloodborne? No. Mmm. Rom is the uh, the Quelag of Bloodborne by the looks of things. Just a horrifying spider. Like. Uh, absolutely grotesque, and in a really bright arena, but like it looks like it's in the the sea or something. It, it looks crazy. Hmm. I really like Bloodborne. I'm trying to make a mature decision here and spend my levels on stamina, but uh, the lag prevented me. Okay, I got it. <laughs> oh God, it's so dark. It's unreal. It's dark and misty. The worst combination. Yeah, I don't know if I can go out yet. Well, by the time we get there, it'll be fine. <laughs> Just about trying to get out. Uh, did too good a job with making that wall. I can't see where the outside is. Oh, I need flint. There we go. Oh, that's so awesome. Can I close it without jumping off? I can never close it without jumping off. Alright, we're out. Cruising. Okay, well yeah, this is easy. I can just snap these ones. Like, they're just snapping to the existing ones and popping out the front again, so... Yeah, that's... Ex well, yeah, even not those ones so much as the uh, thatch foundations further down where we haven't put them in yet. Okay. Because Let's there's see. nothing under those thatch ones. But yes, I mean, all of it, I guess, of whatever's not done. Okay, is it no longer misty? It looks misty to me. Yeah, we're not going down until it's clear. So I do the run to both caves these days, but we don't have the bed in the second cave like we did in the old server, so it's a bit scarier. Simply because there's two plesiosaurs mm. very close, like their spawn is very close to that area, and you sort of have to be sure you're not followed. Because you, you also can't get the plesiosaur into the caves. So you said the word server, and it reminded me. Um, unrelated news, but Clark and I. Ditched and Orlando and Realms Deep together today. That's amazing. Yeah, it it it, it uh, easier than we initially thought. Um, it was pretty cool. We opened that Orlando and we like traced the big section out of it, then pruned the rest of the world and exported just the bit we wanted to keep, and then we imported it into a new map and, and chose a section of our current server to drop it into. But there's like weird discrepancies between the heights of everything, so like there's a really severe drop off, and then you can use like erode tools to blend it. But we're thinking we might just leave it with like a severe cliff and then use it as. That's pretty sort of... cool, yeah. We, well, some of it makes very, very cool sheer cliff faces, and then the other stuff will hopefully it'll encourage people to build there and like 
smooth the transition between the two worlds. So but, um, awesome. Yeah. All right. But I'm gonna get. Hold it forever. I'm in cave number one, I guess. Mm -hmm. Got a bunch of oil while I'm down here. We have more or less full gas in the generator at the minute. But it never hurts to have a shitload more. Um, there are pipes underneath pretty much all of, uh, of that. Actually, no, not the very back row. If, it's, if the thatch is three foundations deep, I've done the whole middle row and the whole front row. But I think we could even place the back row from behind as well. Yeah, I would also, I mean, if we can do that, I would also try and do that now and then we can just forget about it. Yeah, no, um, I, I'm gonna go grab more stone and that will go on the back row of it. But like, yeah, awesome. we have a button running the whole way down it, at the very least. Yeah, we need to think of a way to conceal those sticky eye pipes under the balcony now, because it's a really nice area out there and it's sort of spoiled slightly. Um, I think we just uh, build one more out in front. Like, we just don't have it. Like, we have one row of foundations that don't have pipes. Oh, no, no, I don't mean that. I mean, um, that's, yeah, that's makes perfect sense. Oh, do you, oh, do you mean uh, the balcony, uh, the empty room on the first floor? Like, that balcony at the front of that? No, at the back where the cooking pot is. You know the way uh, the water comes up underneath that with the crosswise? I want yes. to try and disguise that somehow. We're going to try and build walls down, I guess, for me. I guess we could build walls up instead. Mm. Then again, that might be a job for when we have access to the elevator. Because that is going to be a perfect elevator area. Also true, yeah. Again, Quetzal might make, well, once we have a platform on it, might make building things on the cliff side easier because it can just hover in the air and we can walk around on the platform. Yeah. The pillars will have to place the, it's going to be a nightmare. Pillars will be a nightmare, but imagine placing them and not having, you know, like normally if we need to move forward, we're, we're always positioning it from the perspective of a bird. And if we need to move slightly closer, we have to physically fly. Yeah. Whereas, a, you know, you could fly and I can walk around the back. I super hope there are other uses for silica pearls ultimately than just electronics and uh, sa the occasional saddle. Because, I mean, we, we, we shit pearls. <laughs> Cut us and we bleed pearls. Two brothers, we shit pearls. <laughs> Pearl essence. I just... why can't I see? Show me the goddamn pipe! Alright, we've picked up enough pearls to buy a person. We'll go to the next cave. <laughs> Do you think it's slightly less insulting if you're purchased, but purchased with pearls? <laughs> I I would find it more insulting, I think. Really? <laughs> Do you expect nothing less than diamonds? <laughs> no, no, I just find pearls kind of valueless from my perspective. Yeah, because it's just the, the shit that shellfish makes. Kinda, yeah. Well. I mean, if you were given out water yeah. dinosaurs, then that'd be a different story. Sorry, Dave, just the right time I was just telling him that Clark had left it like a, a birth, well, a known birthday Xbox. He, uh, he, bought, he bought FIFA yesterday and we couldn't find the power block, for, or the, just one half of the power block cable, so we couldn't play it. So Clark gave him his old Xbox. <laughs> Oh. Friends. It's not a part. That's a Parcher's joke. What? You forgot the bloody power pack. I wonder who got the power yeah. pack. <laughs> there you go. 
How did that Which, not happen? How did that not happen? When did like who's second time I've laughed at it today? Um, because I was in the store in my work, and there was just a box labeled Power Packs, and I just chuckled to myself. <laughs> <laughs> I said it was great. Um, yeah, our day in work today was pretty ridiculous. Fuck, fuck, and I just in the morning I just rearranged my desk for three hours. Then kids from the special needs school were making short films and I just talked to one of the kids about Mortal Kombat for 20 minutes and then Clark and I played Minecraft for three hearts. Wait. It was great. I did like um, 10 uh, med final practice questions the other day, like just 10. Uh, because I 10 out of 10 it and then refused to go any further. <laughs> Like I I I went in with the intention of doing like you know fifty, learning off the back of it. But nah, ten out of ten. Fuck this shit. I'm I've already passed. Like I mean, obviously, even though every percentage before that is like sixty. That's bonkers. Um, good work. Oh shit! I have loads of screens. I can totally turn on your screen. What am I doing? What the hell am I doing? Watching other people play Ark in the background. <laughs> I still have that fucking Zildjian video playing. Yeah, I keep saying Zildjian because it's the closest thing I can think of. I know it's not his name, that's the drum company. Yeah. Zildjian. Zildjian. Um, Where's that from? In what country is that name from? That is an interesting name. Zildjian? Um, I assumed it was like... It sounded... Let me see. Arab? Yeah, it sounds Arabic. <laughs> How do you, how do they spell it? Is it Z J? Z I L D J I A N, something like that. Hmm. Z Z I L D J I A N, yeah. Well okay. done. I'm so good at spelling made up words. Hmm. <laughs> it's probably uh, not a made up word, that's probably really insulting. Wait, what? It's <laughs> the J No no sorry. <laughs> The, the first line on their homepage is Zildjian is the genuine symbol manufacturer in the United States of Turkish symbols. Okay. What is the United States of Turkish symbols? I don't know. We should ask Tree. He probably knows. Hey, Amen. Um, it's American. Oh, it was founded in Istanbul by Armenian uh, man. Yeah, I mean, you did say Turkish there. How did you miss the big? <laughs> you read out the word oh. Turkish. No, I know Turkish, it just confused me because they called it the United States of Turkish Symbols. Yeah, no, I understand that. Um, it's an American company that was, yeah, I think they, they nicked the, let's see, when did they? Oh, they're owned by Vic Firth now. Hmm. Drum, drum, drums. Yeah. Ah, uh, there's a Rupin <laughs> electric kit in work. And it's class because you can just set it to 808 and then play Beastie Boys drum. <laughs> it's brilliant. <laughs> Alright, I'm out of the second cave. Still on my first charter. It's about to run out though. Yeah. I, I, uh, okay, I suppose it, it's not too bad. Alright, live channels. Here we go. Up we go, Zs. Okay, I managed to do both on one chider and I'm at the surface, that's pretty good. However, we only got 90 crystal, we did get 113 oil, and we got 230 pearls to add to our thousands. You no one shall have our pearls! If they add uh, unique meshes for every item uh, in the game when you drop them, we can use pearls to just drop them on the floor, like all of them, in one room and take, like pose for photos, surrounded with pearls, and then we can just <laughs> the, get and put them in the box. I thought you were going to say, like, uh, Kevin and Home Alone, but I like <laughs> this much better. I thought you were going to use them like marvels to trap things. That's way better, but no, I was just thinking, like, make a box, fill it with pearls, jump in the pearls. Yeah, no, that's awesome. We'll definitely do that. Um, right, so uh, that's all of the underside done, pretty much. We're, we're, we've got pipes everywhere. Awesome. I'm just coming back through the gate now. 
Um, there may be one or two missing. I couldn't get a good view on everywhere. Um, at the time, Katamari was out of stone. So if you have a look, see, uh, if you look from the back as well, see if you can spot any gaps, and then I'll make some more. Okay. But uh, whole front row's done, whole middle row's done. I think the whole back row's done. We could maybe go back further, but... Oh shit, we didn't kill anything? <laughs> was it not meant to be a meat run? <laughs> or were we just talking about meat runs? No, we were just talking about meat runs. I, mean, I, d I just expected to get a bunch of meat. It's just what happens when you go out on the place where you come back with like a hundred stuff. Yeah, just by like coughing underwater. Yeah. Alright, well there's still five in the trough, so she can live off that. Here, have you seen a uh, have you seen Moneyball? No, I know you of it though. You should give it a watch. I think it would appeal to the you know championship manager in you. Okay. It's it's and and I'm assuming you, are you a West Wing fan? Do you like Aaron Sorkin stuff? I do, yeah. Yeah, you'd like, like it then. I find it I find it repetitive and I find it uh, emotionally. Like a bit cheap sometimes, but yes, yeah. I very much still like it. The Aaron Sorkin. Same stuff. here. I like. I, I could not love the West Wing more, and you know, it, it it telegraphs what it wants you to feel pretty blatantly all the time, and I don't care. I yeah. want to feel what he wants me to feel. He writes very good speeches, like moments yeah. of like I remember a bit in the newsroom. It's pretty superb <laughs> talking about freedom. The girls Holy are more shit! For some reason, I just launched off the top, and I'm gonna <gasps> die. Oh, oh I don't know what happened there. I elastic banded off the top of the ladder. I'm gonna see it right now. I'm watching the. Oh god! <laughs> that was like I got proper butterflies. I don't know what. Oh my god! Was. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> oh no! No, he's... oh no! He did settle. That's all right. Sometimes when it does things like that and it like you fall with enough force, you were kind of twitching when you hit the ground. Yeah, I really hope it's good. Actually, that's a fair point. It'll be a, uh, quite the bummer just as I get back with all the stuff to lose all the stuff. Oh, You'll understand again because it's happened to me all too much, all like too often. Oh, oh shit! Where where did the body land? It landed at the foot of the the, the ladder. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm at the top of the ladder. I'm an idiot. I think maybe we should. I mean, we should experiment, but we might have to change the hatch, like make it go the other way or something. Hmm. Oh, damn it, body <laughs> better be here. It, you, you, you got up above, and the hatch opened downwards. So I don't know what could have happened. Oh god, damn it, like, body. Is it, oh shit, is it not there? Oh, I'll fly that. I just don't remember where I landed it. I left. Oh, it, like, I was watching the stream here, it looked like you landed at the bottom. Yeah, like you landed I thought. on wood, definitely. Yeah, you fine. are... Ah, sweet. You got it? Sweet. Just Excellent. smashed through. That's pretty terrifying. <laughs> Christ. Okay. Well, that's a good start, I guess. Uh, yeah. So I have the newsroom. Um, it's gonna be my next watch. I think we've got one episode of Daredevil left to watch, which was ridiculous but enjoyable in parts. Yeah. Like. The, the the second season more so than the first. It was it's pretty pretty mental. It doesn't make sense most of the time. Yeah, I got a lot of that. A lot of that. Have you watched the second series yet? Yeah, yeah, all of it. Yeah, we we're like, what happened in that? Well, basically, I just don't under. I hate Karen Page, yeah. but I don't under. Yeah, anything. she's always sobbing. Like when she's happy, she's sobbing. When she's sad, she's sobbing. When she's just. Tuesday morning, she's just like the way she speaks, she has tears in her eyes. Yep. Yeah. And she me. just tightly crosses her arms and judges people. I also have no idea why she just blindly loves Punisher. Yeah. And and knows that he's killed thirty people. Yeah. And like 
her justification is, oh, but but someone loved him and he had sex and had a baby, so he's a good man. <laughs> he must be. He has to be a good man. He's he's a um, class man, is what he is. He's not a good man. He's just a class dude. Yeah. He's a fucking he, dick. It's the only thing I've really liked Punisher. It's the like the best. Yeah, Punisher. It was, it was good. I enjoyed him. Um, um, I know I it's always it's always typical of the TV series though. It's always about getting there. TV series is about superheroes. In fact, most movies about superheroes are about getting there. And once you're there, they kind of don't know what to do. Like they run out of budget and can't cover themselves. Like Smallville. Oh, <laughs> Smallville held off for like seven, eight seasons. Still going. No, nah, it's okay. We we can make him not fly again this this season. Even though we basically said from like episode one, we're gonna get him flying. We're gonna get him flying. And just can't afford to get him flying, unfortunately. <laughs> But yeah, it sort of feels like, oh, I'm just getting there. I know they're making, they're talking about Punisher spin-off thing, but yeah, you kind of just want him wearing his big skull thing and shooting lots of people, and it's very difficult to make him shoot lots of people and make it seem morally okay. Yeah, I'd like them to say, if they did like Punisher war stories, that would be cool, and like did his, you know, did some of the, well, it doesn't make sense because of the setting they put him in, but like there's loads of Nam stuff. Yeah. And yeah. you could, I know they don't have the license, but Wolverine. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Mm-hmm. I also don't like Foggy. I don't like Matt particularly much. I don't like more or less anything about it except for the hitting. And I think the hitting's quite good. The hitting's quite good. It's gotten, it's not as good as the first season. Like, I loved the first season. I thought it was excellent for, yeah. for being, for being a superhero TV show. I was really, really impressed. Yeah, I like the Wilson Fisk. I just, I hate so much of the real, real life quote unquote stuff. Yeah, no, I, I'm the same. Um, I don't like Electra. No, I don't like Electra. Not not Fisk. I like ha uh, Stick. Stick's good. I did like Fisk. Oh no, Fisk. Fisk's amazing. Yeah, no, I'm. Yeah. No, you know Stick, the old man, the blind dude. Yeah, what was the other one you said that? Oh no, I said I liked Stick, and yeah. then you said, Oh no, I liked Fisk, but I, I think you heard Fisk. Yeah. I didn't say Fisk. Yeah, Stick's fine. Um, we can remove some of these pipes. We definitely have pipes everywhere now. Awesome. Um, yeah, uh, I, I would give Daredevil a medium thumb. Because yes. there's nothing else. There's fucking nothing on. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I've watched that's been good. It's uh, amazing that I lived... I lived in a world where there were four TV channels at one point in my childhood, and I would sit and look at them and say there was nothing on. I now have everything. I could watch anything right now, and I'm like, there's nothing on. Uh, there, there's definitely something I've watched that was good. Did you watch uh this? Well, I'm just thinking of anything I've watched. Don't th th these are not. Uh... Is this the problem? You just we just got, we're at this point now. We're just like, oh, what, what have I watched? Recently? What did I say was bearable? Um, did you watch BoJack Horseman? I did watch actually a little bit of BoJack Horseman. It was good. It is quite good. I haven't watched the second season yet. It's meant to be good. Uh, for for something. Oh, have you watched Broad City? I watched like one or two episodes of Broad City. I didn't think I would like it. Uh, I quite like Broad City in a silly workaholics kind of way. I think those two are very strong at times. Um, Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt season two, I thought was fantastic. Okay. Um, I I like if you like Thirty Rock, it is it is Thirty Rock. There's a joke every like three seconds, and they all sound like they came out of Tina Fey's brain. So that's a perfect TV show in my eyes. Yeah, that seems pretty reasonable. Um, and Ellie Kemper is adorable. So. Yeah, I agree with that. Though there's a positive about the newsroom, really, somebody incredibly beautiful. Uh, I can't remember her name now. I think I know who it is. The dog. I can't remember. Yeah, is he? super dark oh, is it, hair. It's the girl. Is, no, it's not that girl, is she's it? She's been in things. She's been in things since and been much, much less amazing than she is in the newsroom. Like she is. Kill you. Cut your arm off. Ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> um. Is it? Is it Olivia Munn? It is Olivia Munn. Yeah, Olivia Munn's in the new X Men film. That's right, that's for sure. Yeah, um, she was on Attack the Show and she's in something else. She is a, a, a lady with a face. She's a lady with a face. That is yeah. correct. 
She seems uh, she seems pleasant in interviews. Oh, she's in Magic Mike as well, which is a, quite a good film. Yeah. Yeah, she kicks yeah. the absolute shit out of the newsroom. She's really good. All right, what else is class that I've watched? Grace and Frankie is quite nice. I don't know what that is. Um, it's a great cast. It's the main guy from the newsroom. We should get like, sponsored for this, by the way, because you're really good at this. Come on. <laughs> it's the main guy from the newsroom. Um, I, what's his name? Woody Harrelson. No, the old dude. Oh, Jeff Bridges. That's the one. Oh no, not Jeff Daniels. Sorry, no, no. Who is Jeff it? Daniels. it? It's not Jeff Daniels. That's not who I mean. It's an older guy. Um, give me a second. Actually, why am I googling that? I think he's in the newsroom. Um, Harrelson, Jeff Bridges, Jeff Daniels, Sam Watterson. I don't know who that is. Oh man, what else is he been in that you've known from? Because I thought he was in the newsroom. 